Okay, this is the first problem from, I guess it's April 2nd's homework. Uh, we have a little graph of F, a little triangle here. Um, sorry about those lines on my paper. Those lines here on the paper were actually what someone wrote to help them see um, that area under the curve, which we're going to need in just a second. So anyway, this is F, and then they give us this function G which is the integral from 0 to x of f. First question was to find g of negative 1, so that's just the integral from 0 to negative 1 of that function, so it's just the area under the curve, but it's going backwards. Uh, this is a 3 by 1 area, so that's a 1.5. It turns out that this is 1.5, that's 1.5, that's 1.5 also, going to become important in just a little bit. So the area from 0 to negative 1 is negative 1.5, because we're going that way. It's going to be important on the last problem, I think, when I draw a picture of this thing. g prime of negative 1 is the derivative of this. But remember, the derivative of this is just that, right? The derivative of the integral is just f. So g prime is just f. So it's really just asking for f of negative 1. You go to the picture, f of negative 1 is 0. And then g double prime, g double prime is the derivative of g prime. So it's the derivative of f. So the derivative of f, this is f, just the slopes. So it's the slope at negative 1, so it's the slope of that line. Uh, rise over run gives you a 3 of them. If you're grading, uh, 1 point for each one. 1, 1. Uh, part b asks when the function is increasing. So I just think normal calculus, whenever someone tells me increasing, I'm looking for the derivative. So increasing means the derivative is positive. So this was g, remember? So the derivative of g we just did up here was f. So I just want to know when f is uh, positive. So I look up here, f is positive, right? From here to here. So it's positive from negative 1 to 1. I'm going to need that when I draw the, draw the picture. So I think the important step here in this was knowing that the derivative of this was that, right? Without that, you're going to have a little bit of a problem. Uh, part C just asks uh, when it's concave down. So same thing, concave down is second derivative. So concave down means the second derivative is negative. Uh, but the second derivative, remember from the other side, the second derivative is the derivative of f. First derivative was f, second derivative is the derivative of f. So I just want to know, again, derivative of f is slopes. So I want to know when they're negative. So slopes are negative, positive here, negative here, so negative from 0 to 2. So I kind of put that all together. Um, I had the points, or the first point. So the last part, well, so sorry, grading purposes. Um, one, two, three, uh, two points. Two points for the uh, increasing on the other one, sorry. Two points for this, and then two points for the picture. So the tricky thing about the picture, it's really easy to get. We had, remember, that was, uh, decreasing before uh, zero, increasing, sorry, concave up, concavity from zero to two, concave, concave down from zero to two, so concave up, otherwise then we had increasing from the last problem, from negative one to one, so it's increasing, it's decreasing in other places. So it's really easy to draw this shape. The problem is we need some points also. Um, we had the one point from here, g of negative one was negative three halves. So what I did was I just looked at the endpoints. So quick note here that uh, g of negative 2, plug negative 2 into the uh, integral, it's just the integral from 0 to negative 2. And the integral from 0 to negative 2, it's got a positive 1.5 and a negative 1.5, so that's 0. Same thing on the other side, g of 2 is the integral from 0 to 2. 0 to 2 is positive 1.5, negative 1.5, so that's a 0. And then g of 0 is just 0, because the integral from 0 to 0 is 0. 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, concave up, concave down. Decreasing, increasing, decreasing gives you that picture. Two points for the picture. Nine points overall.